Goyo Dao families, today I'm going to be reading one of the stories inside of 30 Indian Legends of Canada, written by Margaret Bemister and illustrated by Douglas Tate. Today I'm going to be reading Shingabis. Once there was a little duck whose name was Shingabis. He lived all by himself in a small lodge and was very contented and happy. This lodge was built on the shore of a lake. When the cold winter days came and the lake was frozen over, all of the other ducks flew away to a warmer land. But Shingabis was not afraid of the cold. He gathered four large logs and took them into his lodge. Each log was big enough to burn for a month, and as there were only four cold months, there would be enough to last him through the winter. Then each morning he would go to the lake and hunt for places where the rushes would come through the ice. He would pull these out with his strong beak and catch fish through the openings. Kabibaranka, the north wind, saw him and said to himself, What a strange person this is. He sings and is out on the coldest days, but I shall stop his singing. <laughs> so he blew a cold blast from the northwest, which froze the ice on the lake much deeper. Still, Shingabis came out in the morning, caught his fish, and went home singing. How strange, said the north wind. I cannot freeze him. I shall go and visit his lodge. Perhaps I can put out his fire. <laughs> so, he went and knocked at the door of the lodge. Shingabis was within. He had cooked and eaten his fish and now was lying on one side of the fire singing a song. He heard the north wind at his door, but he pretended that he did not. He went on singing in quite a loud voice. Windy God, I know your plan. You are but my fellow man. Blow you may your coldest breeze. Shingabis, you cannot freeze. Sweep the strongest when you can. Shingabis is still your man. High for life, oh for bliss. Who's so free as Shingabis? The north wind heard him and was very angry. He blew his coldest blast under the doorway. Shingabis felt it, but he still went on singing. Then the north wind opened the door and walked in. He took a seat beside the fire and Shingabis pretended not to see him. He went on singing and after a while took his poker and stirred the logs. This made them blaze brightly, and in a few minutes, tears began to run down Kibanaka's cheeks. He pushed his chair away from the fire and tried to blow his icy breeze onto the blazing log. But the warm air pushed the cold breeze back and wrapped Kibanaka around like a cloak. The tears were running in streams down his cheeks now, and the heavy frost on his long beard and hair melted and made pools of water on the floor. He could stand it no longer. Rising, he hastily passed out the door, saying to himself, I cannot put out this fire but I shall freeze the lake so deep that he will not be able to catch any more fish. <laughs> so that night, he blew his coldest breeze. Next morning, the ice on the lake was very thick. 
brave little Shingabis went from one place to the other, trying to find a thin spot. At last, a bunch of rushes came out as he pulled. And looking in the hole, he saw several fine fish. He sang merrily as he caught the fish. And the north wind heard the song. At first, he was very angry. Then he began to feel afraid. This duck must be helped by some manitou, he said. I shall leave in him. I shall leave him in peace after this. Then Kebimbadonka went in and closed his lodge door and Shingabis never saw him again. The end. Thank you for joining. Anna.